We appreciate that. Joined now here on set in New York by Yvette Clark. She's a Democratic Congresswoman from New York. She tweeted this today about the Republican health care bill. Fact, Trump care will have a devastating impact on the health security of hardworking Americans living paycheck to paycheck. Congresswoman, I'm guessing you're against it. Um, let me ask you this, though. Bottom line, your party is the minority party in the House. Absolutely. Minority party in the Senate. Let's say Mitch McConnell finds a way to thread the needle in the Senate. We just laid out the political obstacles he faces. They would reconcile the bill that passed the House with the one that passed the Senate have to go through the House again, have to go through the Senate again. But look, if they've gotten this far, if they get it through the Senate, is this thing as good as implemented? Well, I hope not, Steve. Uh, we know that this is a major, major uh, main, mean bill. Uh, it's going to take health care away from 23 million Americans. We've got to sound the alarm here. There's no time to, to play around with this. Uh, the Republicans have decided that they're going to take this march uh, into uh, oblivion, as I would say. And I think that uh, Americans need to make sure that they make their preferences known now. We have no time to sit back and wait and see what happens. Uh, there is clearly uh, a, a willingness on the part of the Republicans to follow this path in trying to give uh, Donald Trump a victory. Uh, and it's a loss for the American people. What, what is, is there a, a bigger picture lesson to, to arrive at this moment? Donald Trump had to win the election. Republicans had to win back control of the House in 2010. They had to get the Senate in 2014. All of those things happened, and all of those things were achieved by the Republicans, at least in part by saying, we want to repeal Obamacare, we want to replace Obamacare. And enough voters in each of those elections did put them into office to do that. When, when you look back at it from the implementation of Obamacare, the enactment seven years ago to today, are there missed opportunities there for Democrats that allowed Republicans to do that? I think that we have not touted as much as we should how this has revolutionized the way that Americans are now able to access health care in America. I mean, when you do, talk... Do people make that connection? Somebody that, is, is somebody receiving benefits? Clear, clearly they are. All of the polling indicates that this is not popular with the American people right now. When you think about, first of all, the wealth transfer that is embedded in this, which is the real crux of of what the Republicans are trying to actually achieve, to take health care services away from seniors, mothers, and children. Uh, it, it's it's un unfathomable that we would be in this place in the 21st century where we would actually leave Americans high and dry, unable to take care of themselves and their families with respect to their health, uh, to be able to give wealthy people who didn't ask for it, uh, a, a, a tax cut, I, I think that the American people are, are pushing back. They're pushing back real hard, and we're going to encourage them to continue to make those calls, send those emails, come to Washington, D.C. It's time for us to make our preferences known here. I, we just have a minute left, but I want to get you on the record on something else, an issue that's bubbled up as a result of this Georgia special election earlier Absolutely. the week. The Republican Absolutely. candidate won that. In the wake of that, some of your own Democratic colleagues uh, in the House, Tim Ryan most notably, Democrat from Ohio, he challenged Nancy Pelosi after last year's election for the leadership position. He lost pretty soundly, but he's saying, and there are some others out there who are now making noise, saying, hey, we, it's nothing personal against Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. but her association is so sort of coastal, liberal, elite, whatever you want to say, that it hurts our party trying to win districts like the 6th in Georgia. Do you think there's anything to that argument? I, listen, I, I, I know Tim real well, and I know a, a lot of my colleagues, most of them, all of them, and I would say that that is not the overwhelming sentiment of the body. Uh, clearly, uh, Nancy Pelosi has been a champion for working people in this country, and across the board, we have have to determine as Democrats how we work together in unity to sound the alarm, to, to, to forge forward, to bring that economic message but so across you're, you're the saying spectrum. she's within the Democratic caucus. You're saying as a member, you don't think she's in trouble right now? No, in terms I of don't. Not at all. I'm, I'm Nancy Pelosi has been a, a source of inspiration and strength. She has moved uh, the agenda on health care, keeping Democrats unified throughout her tenure. Uh, and and I believe that uh, she will continue to do that with the support of